It's hard to believe to see him today, but it wasn't long ago that Richard Jacob was in desperate need of a new heart. He had survived a blood clot, several surgeries, and years of heart failure. And after being put on a waiting list for a transplant, he signed up for as many clinical trials as he could find. I would volunteer for things because I thought, well, it might get me three more months. It might get me four more months. It might get me a year more and who knows what will come on, on the horizon. Turns out one of the newest treatments on the horizon was one Richard tested himself. Leading up to his transplant, Richard was the first heart failure patient in the U.S. to get this. It's called C-Pulse. It's a cuff placed around the aorta that sinks to a patient's pulse and helps squeeze blood from the heart. And a new study shows dramatic results in a handful of early patients. They went from very advanced class three or class four heart failure to asymptomatic or only mildly symptomatic. And in a couple of instances, they were actually uh, able to be removed from the pump. Dr. William Abraham of the Ohio State University Wexner Medical Center led the study. He says walking tests showed patients with the device had much more stamina. Hospitalizations were eliminated for 85% of the patients in the first year, and quality of life scores shot up more than 20 points. Our currently available drug and device therapies for heart failure improve that same quality of life score by only five or 10 points. So this is truly a remarkable improvement in quality of life. That's something Richard can attest to with all his heart. It just kept me going until I got to a transplant position. And I was very lucky. At Ohio State's Wexner Medical Center, this is Clark Powell reporting.